Hey guys, how are you today? <clears throat> um, today we're going to do another little math activity. Um, the activity that I have today is going to be patterns. So I have this. This is from Lakeshore. Um, and this is called Hands-On Math Center. And this is all about patterns, okay? Um, so you do not have to have this kit, guys. Um, you what you can do is look for patterns around your house. You can create one using different objects. Um, but I'm going to do a little activity with you guys here on these math cards. Um, and this is using fruit. So like I said, you don't have to have this kit. You can use basically anything in your house um, to create a pattern. Or you can look on your clothing. Sometimes our clothes have patterns on them. Um, so let's get started guys, okay? So on these cards, the first row is just to help you identify the fruits. Um, does anybody know what this is? And make sure you say the colors. This is a red apple. So I'm gonna put my little red apple onto that. This here is a yellow Banana. So my yellow banana. Purple grapes. An orange. And an orange is orange. We have a pear, a green pear. And a golden pineapple. Red, yellow, purple, orange, green, and this is gold. So if you look at the card, they want you to create a pattern using these three fruits or colors. So we're going to focus mainly on the colors and the fruit. So we have gold, orange, red. What color or what fruit do you think would come next? So we have gold orange, red. Now remember, a pattern is a repeating sequence. Okay? So the next color that would come next or the next fruit would be a gold pineapple. If you said gold pineapple, gold or pineapple, give yourself a kiss on the brain. Okay? So now I have gold, orange, red, gold. What color comes next? You said orange, give yourself a kiss. So get it again, we have gold, orange, red. Gold, orange, what comes next? You said a red apple, give yourself a kiss. So how do we know that these three colors come next? When you look at the beginning, right? We have pineapples, oranges, apples. So if you want to continue this pattern, you would keep going. Gold, orange, red. Gold, orange, red. See? They are repeating. Okay. All right. We're going to try another card. So that one was a little bit more advanced because that is a A, B, C pattern. So that would be A, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, C. Those are a little bit more challenging. So if you weren't able to do that, that's totally okay, guys, all right? Don't stress yourself out. Try a more simple pattern, okay? So let's go to our next card. Okay, so now I'm gonna do a more simple pattern an a b a b a b okay so i want you to analyze the pattern as i am creating it okay so for example i want you to describe the pattern as i create it okay
So analyze it. Can you describe my pattern? What would this pattern look like if I kept going? So what would come next? Shout it out or message me in the comments. Okay, if you said a yellow banana, give yourself a kiss, guys. So we have yellow, red, yellow, red, yellow, red. Great job, guys. And if I were to keep going, we would continue yellow, red, yellow, red, right? So, if you don't have any fruits like these to use, or any small items to create a pattern, like I said, you can use other materials, or you can look for patterns. So, for example, I have these cool hair ties. How can I make a pattern using these hair ties? If you know, let me know in the comments. Okay, I'm going to show you. You can make a few different patterns with this, actually. You can start blue, yellow, yellow, blue. So what would come next? It would be yellow, yellow, right? And then a blue. Or you could do blue, yellow, blue, yellow. What would come next? Blue. And then you keep repeating it. Blue, yellow, blue, yellow, blue, yellow. Like I said, that's an A, B, A, B pattern, okay? What if you don't have hair ties either? So look in your cabinet. Okay, I have these cups. So how can I make a pattern using these cups? Do you know? Hmm. Let's see what I could do. So what color are these cups? Pink, like a seafoam green, okay? So I can create a pattern. This is AB. So we'll, see, we'll call this like a, a seafoam. Seafoam, pink, right? Seafoam, pink. Seafoam, pink. So let's look at our pattern. S pink sea foam. Pink sea foam. Pink sea foam. Pink. Ta da! Hmm, I wonder can we challenge ourselves? Can we make this an ABC pattern? Or an ABCD pattern? Hmm, how would we do that? What would that look like? So let's see, let's take these all out. What if I do pink, sea foam, sea foam, pink? Hmm, what would come next? Do you guys know? Shout it out. Let me hear you. If you said sea foam, you are correct. Give yourself a kiss on the brain. And then it would continue with another sea foam and then a pink, because remember it's repeating. Pink, sea foam, sea foam, pink. Pink, sea foam, sea foam, pink. Okay? We can do another pattern with this. Hmm. Let me think what we could do. Green, green, pink, pink. What would come next in this pattern? Hmm. So I have sea foam, sea foam, pink, pink, sea foam. If you say sea foam, give yourself a kiss. Remember, we also learned how to cheer in sign language, right? I don't know if you guys remember that. Cheer for yourself.
You hold up two hands and you shake them, okay? Okay, so how about this pattern? You have pink, pink, seafoam, seafoam, pink, pink, seafoam. If you think that seafoam comes next, shout it out. Think pink comes next, shout it out. If you said seafoam, you are correct. So we would have pink, pink, seafoam, seafoam, pink, pink, seafoam, and then you would have another seafoam. Great job, guys. Give yourself a kiss. You guys are learning, learning, learning. So what I want you guys to do now is to go around your house. I want you to find anything you can, okay? You can look on clothing and try to find a pattern. You can find real fruit. If you have real fruit, go for it. So remember, pattern is a repeating sequence. So we have purple, yellow, purple, yellow. Purple, yellow. Okay. Or you can, so this is your A, B, A, B, A, B pattern. Or you could still find A, B, B, A. A, B, B, A, B, B, A. This is a more complex pattern. So you have your simple patterns like A, B, A, B, A, B, and then you have your complex, and then you have your complex patterns, okay? So those are some examples, or you could do orange, orange. Gold, gold. Orange, orange. Gold, gold. Okay, so here are some examples of patterns. And what I want you guys to do is to go around your house and to look for some, okay? So I want you to go around your house and I want you to look for patterns. Don't focus on the object that I have. I want you to focus more on the repetitiveness. And you can focus on colors. Um, if you do want to focus on objects, that is fine. But you would need multiple of those objects, which can be a little bit harder. So I know focusing on colors uh, tends to be easier. So we have purple, yellow, purple, yellow, purple, yellow. Red, green, green, red, green, green, red. Orange, orange, gold, gold, orange, orange, gold, gold. So I hope you guys understand this. Um, you guys are really, really smart, and we do this in school all the time, so I know you guys can do this. So like I said, go around your home, look for some patterns that you can find. Um, take pictures of them and send them to me because you guys know I love to see your pictures and I love to see you guys working. Um, or comment below. Give me an example of a pattern, okay? If you don't have anything at home that you can use. Um, so, or draw a picture of a pattern, okay? Alright guys, let me know how you do. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys on Monday. So make sure you enjoy your weekend, okay friends? And stay safe. Bye guys!